and I know that's not a thing everybody loves but it happens I'd also like to thank everybody that's participated with everything that's been going on and if you're just joining us you're listening to Radio Visions with Dara I would like to welcome everybody that was here last night and are back tonight everybody that was back last weekend as well so keep that in mind that what we what we're doing here is for you so please use it please get involved um, if you have questions I am me that'd be great or if you want a mini mini reading let me know what's going on and where we should look so we can kind of focus in on that area of your life and we'll do that as well so here we are on Saturday night, November 15th, answering some questions. And we've got another individual that doesn't want to use their name, they say. so. And they've got, they've got some financial problems that they've been slowly trying to work on after they've went through a rough patch earlier this summer. A lot of people went through this same rough patch because it, it involves the housing industry. And they're just wanting to know when this is going to clear up for them and get better. So this is actually going to clear up for you not until almost May. I know this seems like it's a far time frame, but if you keep pushing forward with what you're doing on how you're making payments and cutting back on things, this is all going to work itself out around May. Then you're going to feel a lot more stable then. So keep that in mind. Um, you've got this dark aura around one side of you, and you need to push. And it's following you hard and heavy, but I think it's because it's stress-related. So you need to figure out a way to zero out your stress. I would, I would suggest a little meditation, and this dark shadow will back off, and things will feel a lot easier, less stressful, less harmful, less depressed feeling that you're feeling. All that will go away if you can just relax a little bit. So have just relax. Have a good time because your financial problems will be getting better as time goes on. So keep that in mind, okay? Thanks for I am and me. And like I said, we're here every Friday and Saturday nights doing mini readings and so on and so forth. So if you're out there listening, please give me an IM. Let me know you're out there. Oh, and something I asked last night, and I'm going to ask it again tonight. If you don't have anything you want me to check into for you and stuff, why don't you IM me and let me know where you're from. Let me know if you're from Kansas. Let me know if you're from Texas, California, New York, Minnesota, Canada, Japan. If you're all out there listening, let me know where you're from. I just kind of like to know how how far the broadcast is going and who's finding me and who's not and so on and so forth. So please keep that in mind as well. And if you've been listening to the broadcast from last night all day, we do appreciate that and thank you. Tell your friends about the website. We would appreciate that appreciate that as well. Like I said, I'm trying to get this up and going as quickly as possible, but we do need music to play because we'd like to eventually add music so we can play music 24-7. So if you produce music of New Age or Jazz, please print off the broadcasting permission form, fill it out and mail it back with a CD and we'll get those into the system in the upcoming weeks and get broadcasting music. I would appreciate that very much because it would be a lot more entertaining for you to click us on in the morning while you're getting ready for work or just getting ready for your day and be able to listen to some smooth relaxing music so keep that in mind okay we'd appreciate it and moving forward we also last night were talking about thoughts of inspiration and this was a little booklet I'd put together several years ago and thought it'd be fun to share with you. So that's what we did last night mainly. And I was just letting everybody know last night that I'll let go again tonight that if you have your own thoughts of inspiration or things that make you think, 
email them to me. Go to the contact us slash newsletter page and send those in via email. And if we get enough of them, we're going to start a new web page called Thoughts of Inspiration. And we'll start posting some of those on that page. Please put your name with it and we'll give you the credit for it. You know, we'll post your name beside your Thoughts of Inspiration if you like. If you don't want your name associated with it, just let us know that as well. And we'll get that taken care of too. To me, that sounds like it'd be kind of fun just to get a massive gathering of all that put out there. But do keep in mind, if you submit anything to Radio Visions, it does become our property and we can do what we want with it as long as it does not harm anybody in any way, shape, or form. That's like the that's why we need a broadcasting permission form for the music we would like to broadcast because we need your permission to broadcast it and you will get the credit for it so we will associate your name with every track of yours we play and so on and so forth so keep that in mind as well that if you're broadcasting stuff we will we will give you the the live feed for that as well so here we are on Saturday night, November 15th, talking about some of the cool up-and-coming things we're trying to do with the new Radio Visions radio station. So if you know anybody that might be interested in us, let them know about us. It would be great to have new listeners all the time. So if you were with us last night, thank you. If you're with us tonight and you were with us last night and last weekend, we really thank you. And like I said, music is coming soon. And you're listening to Radio Visions with Dara. Friday nights and Saturday nights between 10 p.m. and 12 a.m. So a lot of people kind of browse the website and kind of think things are cool. I'd like to go over a few go over a few of the shows that we offer because the holidays are coming up. And if you haven't booked a holiday party yet, this would be a good time. I've still got a few dates left. So give me a call on your holiday party schedules and we can work something out or you can you can send me an email but with a limited space that I have left a phone call would be quicker for you because you might miss out on the dates if you email me. But one of the best shows I have for this time of year especially for New Year style parties where a formal or even a masquerade style party is going on. It's a show that I call The Stranger. And this is really cool. Let me let me read you the little profile on it. The Stranger is a phantom at the party. No one knows who he is or what he is. He is just an unannounced guest. And the real guests have no clue what the stranger can do. Over the course of the evening an unexpected story starts to unfold about the stranger. Taking the guests through a very unique night of enchanting an elegant evening of stories of psychics and tales of visions. This one, like I said, is really great for formal affairs or costume style parties. And it is always a blast to get the reactions from the guests who don't know that I'm coming. Because usually everybody knows everybody at a party and if you don't let anybody know someone's coming that is going to be a guest as well that ends up doing psychic readings for everybody it just makes the evening really kind of unique an event that people will remember for years to come so keep that in mind I actually like doing that show very well because it's fun for me and it's just a good time as always had by all. And I also offer a show called Talking to the Afterlife. This show is the art of reuniting loved ones with those who have already crossed over. This is an extraordinary event experience that changes the way you think about life and the afterlife. So keep that in mind. Those are two really strong pieces for the holidays and that talking to the afterlife one can actually be a stage presentation style show if you need to be 
and that works out great for some people too. So if you're just tuning in, you're listening to Radio Visions with Dara every Friday and Saturday nights between 10 p.m. and 12 a.m. We're here doing mini readings tonight and talking about the website and some of the upcoming changes that are going on with the website. Like I mentioned earlier that in the coming weeks and months you'll start seeing advertising pop up on the website. I'm doing that in order to supplement the cost of running the radio station so keep that in mind and please use the advertisers and let them know so it helps me and it helps them and it keeps us here to help you with the free readings and the things that make you think and all the other little things we'll be doing in the future that's coming up so keep that in mind as well so if you have anything you'd like to know just IM me from the Radio Visions page on the website and I'll be happy to answer your questions on that and so on and so forth when you IM me put in your message or what you need in the bottom where it says aim guest put a name in there now if you want to use your real name that's great and wonderful you don't have to but it's just easier if there's a name associated to the readings and it makes it a little more interesting for the people who's just listening and so on and so forth so keep that in mind as well okay so like I, so like I said we want to start streaming music and all that fun stuff so in order to do that we need the music to stream so if you're a artist or a musician that produces your own original work please submit it for airing on, airing on Radio Visions we are looking for music in the areas of New Age and Smooth Jazz and Cool Jazz and we're not exclusively looking for that but for right now that's what we'd like to start it with if you produce other stuff send that as well but we do need the broadcasting permission form to be returned with each and every CD so if you have 12 CDs that you've produced over the last 12 years I'll need 12 different forms to go with each CD and I know that may sound funny but that's just the way it works so please keep that in mind because if you just submit a CD and no permission form we can't use it so also keep that in mind and for those of you out there that have already submitted music and permission forms I thank you very much and like I said in the upcoming weeks we hope to get this all put together and streaming out music 24 7 which I think everybody will really enjoy and so on and so forth so we've got another person looking for a reading this is Stacy Stacy is needing to know if her current boyfriend is the one well Stacy I see you and your current boyfriend have been together only only about six months and you're wanting to take it to a new level I, is what I'm getting from you and this new level is a little more serious because you want to be a little more exclusive not saying that you weren't in the past but you want to be you're looking at marriage and you're not for sure if he is basically is what I'm feeling and seeing here so keep in mind that you've only known each other for six months but he is on the verge of being ready for marriage he's just not quite there yet so keep that in mind keep your keep your ears perked and your eyes open and you'll know when the time comes around when he's really receptive to it and don't talk about it too often to him because that's a turn off for him keep that in mind as well so by this time next year you'll be well on in the middle of planning your wedding so keep that in mind as well okay I hope that helped and if you have any more questions I am me and I'll be glad to answer them and see what I see and feel what I feel for you and we'll go on from there so if you're just joining us you're listening to Radio Visions with Dara 
We're here every Friday and Saturday nights between 10 p.m. and 12 a.m. Central Time. And if you have any questions or comments, why don't you IM me? I'll be happy to see what I can do with the information you give me and do the readings and so on and so forth. I'd also like to thank everybody that is tuned in and that is tuning in. I do appreciate it because this is a new experience for me as well. Let me give you a little background on how Radio Visions came about. That's kind of an interesting story actually. Uh, a year ago, a local radio station was looking for a psychic to come on and do a Halloween show for him. So I contacted him and said I would do it and drove out there early morning on Halloween 19, 19 on 2007. It was called the Jan and Phil show on 104.5 The Fox. And by the way, they are a great bunch of people out there. None better, actually, in my opinion. And we went on and we did a show and we did live readings over the air for about an hour and had a great time and ever since then I always wanted to do more of that and then this just past Halloween of 2008 they called and asked if I would do it again so Halloween morning I got up early again drove out there to the Jan and Phil show and we did another hour and had a great time but since I actually did that first one I always wanted to do more radio and is really kind of ironic because I never really thought about wanting to do radio but once I did it it was kind of like an addiction I liked it so here we are from the first time to now is just a little over a year and here is radio visions out there to serve the community and to serve the world so if you I am me I can answer your questions that way or if you want to submit stuff to us like thoughts of inspiration and things that make you think please submit those by email we'll read over those and we'll get those posted on a new page we're thinking about doing called thoughts of inspiration I think it's going to go over real well so people can get on and look at it and see how people view the world other than what their world dictates so I always find that interesting because when you look how people look at stuff it's always so unique and so different from your own for instance in my world the majority of things I see and feel are black and white they either happen or they don't you either do it or you don't and that's why I pretty much live my life and some people see so many different shades of gray and what they do that their lives sometimes take on a life of their own if you will so they may start out with things they need to get done for the day but never come close because the day just took them in different directions which I admire those people to a degree they can just get up and just roll with the day I always seem to have to do a billion different things to make the make it through the day and get the kids off to school and the dogs and the birds fed and all that fun stuff but you know that's the way it goes so like I said I just like getting different people's point of views how you look at life how you look at situations because one of the thoughts of inspirations I had that I had read last night was one of my favorites I have many favorites but this was one of my favorites that if you have never witnessed or seen a miracle go out and watch a sunset some night go out there about 15 20 minutes before sunset sit down and watch sunset until the sun is completely gone and the sky is black you will see so many amazing things during that time frame and that time frame isn't really that long it's probably about 40 minutes maybe an hour max time to sit down with a cup of coffee or a glass of wine and relax and wine for the end of the day 
and that is the closest thing in my opinion that is a miracle that you can see every single day if you wanted so keep that in mind and that's what we're looking for on thoughts of inspiration things that just make you think a little bit different so please send those to us via email and while you're on that contact us slash newsletter site sign up for the newsletter because then you'll know about things that are coming up before anybody else and so on and so forth I also appreciate that we try to get the newsletter out once a month usually in the first half of the month so if you're just signing up now you won't see a newsletter until the first possibly second week of December but hopefully the first week of December keep that in mind that things do happen and we have to alter timelines a little bit but just keep that in mind as well so if you'd like a reading or a, just to say hi or whatnot fill out your little message on the IM screen there and hit enter and it will zip it right to my screen and I'll be able to read it for you and tell you what's going on and what's not going on and so on and so forth so if you just tuning in you're listening to Radio Visions with Dara we're here every Friday and Saturday nights live between 10 p.m. and 12 a.m. and at any other time during the day and evenings you can click on the other link that says rebroadcasting and we rebroadcast some of the shows that we've recorded at this point so keep that in mind as well if you miss something or you just wanted to re-listen to something you may do so at any time and those will play 24 7 until we get some music that we're asking for and if you're an artist or a musician that produces your own original work and you'd like to have it played over the radio airwaves or in our case the radio internet waves please print off one of the broadcasting permission forms fill it out and submit it to us and remember that we are really looking for a new age and smooth, smooth and cool jazz for right now I'm not I'm not limiting it to anything else but if you do produce other stuff please submit that as well who knows we may just decide to use everything so right now like I said this is an up-and-coming event the music part of it is so bear in mind we've only had a few people submit stuff so it will take a little while to get enough music put together to really get this going so if you submit something and nothing happens for a week or two weeks that's why we're just waiting for more music to come in and I do appreciate anybody and everybody who sends us stuff I do appreciate that very very much that you've taken the time to do that and remember when you submit music I will give you the credit for it we, when we announce it we will announce your name and the name of the song or your name and the name of the album but in any case you will always get credit for what we broadcast that is yours that's part of why we need a permission form so we don't step on anybody's toes and get some trouble so keep that in mind as well oh, we've got a new message here and this is from TJ okay we got some initials TJ thanks for I am in us and TJ wants to know what's going on with work right now he's got a feeling that works just not that great and wants to know if something new and exciting is coming along well TJ nothing is really gonna happen for you really quick here and I know that's kind of not what you're wanting to hear but keep submitting to the job that you're wanting not because you've got this job that's hanging over your head it's not really hanging over your head but it's following you and you'd really like to have it and it's kind of a step up from what you're doing but in the same field and I it's almost like construction work of some kind but it's all done indoors so I don't know if that means it's manufactured housing or trailers or what you're doing but you like what you're doing you just want something slightly better so keep in mind apply for this job and keep in mind nothing's gonna happen until almost the end of January 
but keep applying for it keep contacts up and you'll actually make that next step up but this isn't going to happen until about the end of January so please keep that in mind and be patient with it because this is going to be a slow process because they've got other people wanting it too and they're going to have to do interviews and I can tell you this much now most of the interviews are from in-house that means they're only looking for one or two people that are outside of the company already so you've got a really good chance of making that next step so keep that in mind okay and thanks for I am and me and like I said if anybody's out there that needs a little help a little guidance or just wants to say hi I am me and let me know what's going on and I'll do what I can for you and let you know what I see for you because that's why I'm here I'm here to do the live readings here on Fridays and Saturdays and just have a good time so let me know what's going on in your life and I'll help smooth out those patches if I can or at least net, or at least let you know what's coming up if it's going to get rough so you can prepare for it somewhat and you're listening to Radio Visions with Dara now earlier we were talking about some of the shows I offer one of the most popular shows that can go anywhere is the Psychic Party now the Psychic Party is a standard show where I would come into let's say this is a house party and I would come in set up a table and all your guests would be able to come get readings done if they wanted to and the best part about this is that I actually give free gifts away during the psychic party and it's really the only show I do this with so remember when you're having a house party or a restaurant party or a hotel party this is a great show to bring in because it can go anywhere no real special setups just enough room for a small table and a couple chairs and people have fun with it and they get their free gift and they get their insight that they're looking for which is what really most people are looking for is a little more insight into life something they're overlooking and that's what I'm here is to fill in those gaps to make life better for people when we can but like I said, the Psychic Party is really cool, so keep that in mind. And it's also great to do for holiday parties. And the upcoming holidays, I still have a few dates left. So if you would like to book a party, call me as soon as you can on that one. And we'll get things rolling and going with that. And like I said, I do appreciate everybody that tunes in and listens on Friday and Saturday nights between 10 and midnight. Central time, that is. So just wanting to say thanks once again or if you're looking for gifts for people I offer a gift called a reading in a bottle and this makes a great gift for people that you don't tend to know what to buy for or these people seem to have everything under the sun anyway a reading in a bottle is a reading based on someone's name and it is printed off on gold parchment paper and is rolled up and tied with a black tassel and it is shipped in a hand packed glass bottle and this is really really cool due to the fact that we can send the gift directly to you or we can drop ship it directly to the individual that you're buying it for which always gives you a really nice thing to go buy and you can find that information on the main page on visionsbydera.com. And we can also add a picture to that. So we can, if you have a personal picture of that person that you can send along with your payment, we can add that into the reading so it makes it even more personal, even more memorable, and so on and so forth. So keep that in mind as well. I would also, like I said, just keep thanking people for listening and tuning in I do appreciate it very much and if you just tuned in you're listening to Radio Visions I'm Dara and tonight we're just kinda doing live readings and talking about what comes to mind basically if you heard last night's broadcast or if you just listened to it not too long ago that one was called Thoughts of Inspiration if you have your own thoughts of inspiration or things that make you think, please email them to me. 
Because like I said last night, we will start a new web page called Thoughts of Inspiration and start posting all these thoughts on that page so we can share them with everybody. I think that would go over really well. Maybe, maybe in, inspire people to be who they are, what they are, and see life different. So it's always good to see things from different people's perspectives. Sometimes that puts your life into a perspective you haven't even really thought about or maybe would have never thought about. So keep that in mind. That's a fun way to do that. So here we are about 11 o'clock already and we're still wanting people to IM me so we can do the readings and have a great time. If, or if you just want to say hi, you can use the IM system to do that too. If you've never used a I am system based on a website. It's really easy to use. Type in your message up there and hit enter and it will automatically and magically send it to my computer here that I'm looking at. And I think that will be fun for everybody to do. So please do that. And remember we do rebroadcast these shows throughout the week. So if you happen to catch it during the middle of Tuesday afternoon, please remember that we're not actually live then, so the IM system will probably be offline then. But that's a good indicator when we're live is when you log onto that page, you'll see the IM screen that says we're on the air. So that's a great indicator to know that we're on the air talking and having a good time. So, like I said, just keep that in mind. Oh, and in the upcoming months, you'll notice some changes to the website itself. We're going to start doing some advertising on the website in order to pay for everything we hope so please use the advertisers that decide to go with us and click on their sites and see them as much as possible and use their products too so that's something new that should be showing up hopefully in a week maybe two and like I said, we're just trying to make this thing a go and make it as cool as possible for everybody. So if you'd like a little mini reading, just I and me and we'll get that going. And Or if you just want to say hi, you can send me an instant message on that one too. I'll be happy to talk to you or say hello back. And, it, and something I've been asking for the last couple times that I can think of being on the air live when you send me an instant message down at the bottom where it says aim guest and it gives like a big long number <clears throat> fill out a name in there it can be your name it can be a make-believe name but fill out a name in there so we can make it a little more personable for everybody listening okay Okay, I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in to Radio Visions. This is Dara, and we're here every Friday and Saturday nights between 10 p.m. and 12 a.m. We're here doing live readings for everybody, and it's all part of why we're here on the weekends. And hopefully during the week, when things progress a little further than what they are now, we're going to start posting music and streaming it 24-7. So if you're a artist or a musician that produces your own original work please print off a broadcasting permission form and return it to me with a CD of your music and we'll start getting music integrated into the website and so you guys can listen to that and enjoy that as well I know it's something everybody would really enjoy and right now we're looking for new age and smooth and cool jazz but like I said earlier if you produce something that's not quite in those three categories go ahead and submit it if you like and if we like it here at Radio Visions we'll actually work it into the broadcast somehow so like I said we're just looking for something people can sit down after a long hard day and click it on and enjoy a glass of wine or a cup of coffee or whatever they like in the evening and relax a little bit let the worries of the day float away as they're listening and relaxing we've got another 
person looking for some answers here and this is Tammy Tammy is needing to know if the romance at her work is going to continue or if it's something she needs to give up and start looking for somebody else well Tammy the romance that you're referring to is actually not really romance it's more of a hardcore relationship when I say hardcore you guys do quite a bit together um, as friends you go out to movies and an occasional nightclub but you're wanting something more out of this relationship I'm sensing but you're really hesitating because it's a co-worker that you work with and that is a very good thing to do be very cautious here I do see you this lasting for about three more months and it is going to fizzle out so keep that in mind that this is more of a fun and games type thing right now at the moment but do keep in mind that there's somebody that's already in your circle of friends that are not work related friends but outside work that circle of friends there's someone there that you would actually like to hook up with and maybe start dating on a little serious basis a little more serious basis I should say that's actually going to start taking place in the next month and a half to two months if you let it so know that the work romance is actually going to fizzle in about the same time frame almost so looking at this other option is a really good thing to start doing right now and just let go of some of the stress you're going through right now because you've got this dark aura about you and it's not in the black yet but it's in the awful dark blues so remember figure out a way to cleanse yourself I would do some relaxation or meditation at nighttime and just let all that stress go don't let it bother you like you've been letting it bother you and that dark aura will lighten up into the reds and the oranges and almost into the yellows and that's where you really want to be is in the yellows where it's bright and sunny so keep that in mind as well and good luck that was Tammy and you too like she did can have a mini reading done if you send me an instant message using the instant message there on the page it's always a it's a really cool feature what you do is type in your message and then the thing that says aim guest type in a name there it doesn't have to be your real name but I'd like it to be just type in a name there and hit enter and it will magically appear on my screen and I'll be able to give you a reading based on what your wanting's are and needs are so keep that in mind as well and if you're just tuning in you're listening to radio visions with Dara we're here every Friday and Saturday nights between 10 p.m. and 12 a.m. now if you have anything that you would like to submit submit please get on the email and send it to us if you were listening to last night's broadcast please send us your thoughts of inspiration or things that make you think and we're going to start a new web page up coming up in the next few weeks called thoughts of inspiration we'll start posting some of these thoughts that get emailed to us and we're also eventually going to start broadcasting music 24 7 so we need people to submit their original work for airing on radio visions we are looking for music in the areas of new age and smooth it cool jazz for right now if you would like to submit your work please print off the broadcasting permission form you see at close to the bottom of the page and return it with your audio CD and as soon as we get enough of this we'll start piecing them together in the computer system and start airing them where everybody will be able to sit back and relax to new and exciting music that they may or may not have access to any other way which if you stop and think about it we're doing this in a really unique way since we need the broadcasting forms before we can air the music the music we get to air will probably be very non mainstream and stuff that you will like that maybe you'll want to buy copies from the artists and we will give everybody credit for everything that we 
error, so keep that in mind as well. For good or bad, we will give everybody their own credit. And that always makes things interesting, I know. So like I said, if you would like to have a reading done, please send us an instant message and I will give you a reading based on what you sent us and are needing to know. Or if you just want to say hi, you can do that as well. Send me an IM. I'd like to say hi to you too. Like I mentioned earlier as well, let me know where you're from. Send me an IM saying where you're from. I'd like to know if you're all from Kansas or if you're all from Oklahoma or if you're all from New York or if you're all from Maine, if you're all from Buffalo, Canada, Japan, China, Russia. I just kind of like to know where the broadcast is going, how many people are really listening. So send me an IM on that. That would be really cool. Let me know where you're at. Like I said, we are here every Friday and Saturday nights between 10 p.m. and 12 a.m. doing live readings. And when we get enough music put together and so on, we'll start broadcasting that throughout the day and night. So keep that in mind as well. And if you have any thoughts that you would like to share with this, please do those with emails. And you'll find that information on the contact us slash newsletter page. And while you're there, sign up for the monthly newsletter so you'll know of things that are coming up before most everybody else does. Because the newsletter usually gets posted and emailed out a week to two weeks before the changes ever hit the website. So keep that in mind if you want to be one of the first people to know what's going on. Okay? So right now we're just sitting back, relaxing, doing a few readings, talking about things. Last night's show was a blast. I had a good time with it. I hope you guys did too. It was called Thoughts of Thoughts of Inspiration. Some of the thoughts I had read off last night were thoughts of inspiration I've come up with over the past five years. Because most of those were done in 2003, believe it or not. And they're still relevant today. I find that the best part about them. So, if you listen to it, and you would like to submit your own thoughts of inspiration, please do so. Email them to us. Like I said earlier, we are going to start a new web page if we get enough of these thoughts of inspiration mailed to us. We'll start posting those online so we can share it with everybody. And that's always cool and fun to do. And, oh, we've got another person wanting a reading, so here we go again with James. James says he's actually from New York. Thanks, James. And he needs to know if his current girlfriend is going to stay his current girlfriend. <laughs> James, right now you don't have nothing to worry about. She is not going anywhere. Actually, I'm getting the feeling that within the next six months, or about time summer rolls back around, you guys will have some small issues to work through because you're going to hit this little rough patch coming up and it's okay you both you will both survive it but you will end up being more more like friends after that point not necessarily boyfriend girlfriend anymore you'll be more of best friends but you still do quite a bit together so it's going to be a nice a nice breakup or as nice as it can get for a breakup so keep that in mind okay and thanks for I am and me. If you too would like a little mini reading like that, please send me an instant message and I would be happy to do so. Or if you just want to say hi and let me know what state and city you're listening from, that would be cool too. So let me know that as well. And like I said, everything here is for you guys. So that's the whole point of it is to make this fun and interesting for you and fun and interesting for me so I want to come do this actually I want to do this really bad <laughs> radio I have found out that I am addicted to and I love it very much so here we are with a brand new internet radio station called Radio Visions and if you would like to see some things changed or done a little differently please send me an email based on that as well we'll get that out there and get those changes made see how everything is and going on and going off and 
fun fun will be had by all. Last Saturday, a week ago today, we were doing, I was letting people know that when I do personal readings, sometimes I use playing cards, standard house playing cards. And so last Saturday, I was letting you know what the meanings were for everyday standard house playing cards, just to give you an idea of how to interpret and see what's there. And that was kind of interesting. Had some good feedback on that and had some other feedback kind of wondering why we were doing that and it was like I said until we get enough music to fill up the airwaves with we're doing live readings every Friday and Saturday nights and if you would like to continue this live readings on Fridays and Saturday nights send me an email let me know that you would like to continue this I would like to continue it as well but until we know this is actually reaching lots of lots of people it may disappear after a while, the life part of it that is. We'll always do radio visions and broadcast the music once the music starts coming in. So please send us your music as well. If you're just tuning in, you're listening to Radio Visions by Dara. And I'd like to say thanks to all the new listeners out there. I know it's not easy finding us and it's a very unique take on a radio station, I understand. But I think this is what will make us stand out from the other stations. That's really what it all comes down to is what you like and who you like and so on and so forth. So bear in mind that that's what we're doing, okay? Oh, we've got another IM here and they're going to not give a name. That's okay. That's great. They're needing to know if what they did two weeks ago was okay. Okay, the the party that you were attending two weeks ago, <laughs> the party itself was okay, but what happened afterwards? And you're wanting to, you're basically wanting to know if you're pregnant, correct? Yes, okay. And the answer to that is no, you're not pregnant at this point in time. Um, because I know you think since it's been two weeks ago and that you've have basically missed one of your cycles it's not you didn't really miss it it was just very very light so it's it was still there and so yes you're pregnancy free so keep that in mind and I hope that helps you some and just be a little more careful in the future okay so like I said, we're out here listening to Radio Visions by Dara, streaming live every Friday and Saturday nights between 10 p.m. and 12 a.m. Central Time. If you'd like a live reading done, please IM me and we'd be happy to give you a live reading. And at any rate, we're, we're here for you guys. Remember that. That's what I'm here for. I am here for you. No one else. And... That's always important to know that you have you have a safe place to go. We're kind of like that safe harbor in the storm. Just look for the just look for the lighthouse, and that will be me broadcasting out into the universe and making making your dark stormy nights calm and better. So I am me if you would like me to give you a mini reading and let you know what I see and feel. If you are an artist or a musician, we would like your music. So please go to the Radio Visions page and print off a broadcasting release form, basically, and fill it out and send it to us with your original work on a CD. And on that original work, we'll get it integrated into our computer systems eventually, and we'll get it broadcasting and streaming out into the universe as well. And that way... That is a win-win situation for everybody. It gets us the ability to broadcast music. And it gets your music heard in venues that otherwise might not know you exist. So keep that in mind. It's a good way to get publicity for yourself. And we will give you credit for it. So whenever we play a track or an album piece, we will let you know either 
who sang it or what track's called and what album it is and so on and so forth. So everybody wins on that one. And the, once again, I'd like to thank everybody that has been tuning in for the last four days to see how things are going. I do appreciate that very much. And like I said, as time goes on, you'll see some changes in the websites. In the next few weeks, you should start seeing advertising pop up here and there on the pages. And we need that going on in order to pay for the website and the radio station. So keep that in mind as well. If you see the advertisers pop up on the site, please use them. I'd appreciate that very much. Because every time you use them, it gives us the revenue stream to make more money in order to keep the radio station here and make upgrades to it when the time comes. Because so I'd like to see this last many a year, if not longer. And I'd also like to thank all the, all the people that just listen and do nothing else. Because pretty soon you'll be able to click on the link and sit down and have a good time listening to new age music or cool jazz or smooth jazz. And that's always fun to do as well. So keep that in mind. That's what we're here doing, just having a good time. And if you're just tuning in, you're listening to Radio Visions with Dara. We're here every Friday and Saturday nights between 10 p.m. and 12 a.m. Just trying to make one's life a little more bearable. Everybody goes through rough patches or spots of not knowing certain things. And it's always nice to have someone to go to to help clear that up for you, I think, anyway. So keep in mind, if you want a mini reading, please I am me and I'll be happy to give you a mini reading. Or if you just want to say hi, you can do that as well. If you've never used a instant messaging system like the one that's posted on the website, it's really, really easy. Just type in your message and hit enter and it sends it magically to my computer and I can read it off and let you know what's going on. I also would like to hear from everybody out there on on anything or everything. Send me an email. Go to the contact us page and send me an email and let me know what's going on in your life and what changes you think might need to be made or if you like it the way it is let me know that too it's always good to get feedback like that or if you want to submit thoughts of inspiration or things that make you think please email those to us as well because like I said we're only here on Friday and Saturdays between 10 p.m. and 12 a.m. every night every Friday and Saturday night that is so keep that in mind, but email us the others in the subject lines, you know, put thoughts of inspiration. And when we get enough of them put together, we'll start posting them online. We'll give you the credit for them. That's always kind of fun to see your name in print. It always used to excite me when I was younger, when I had business cards made or flyers made or whatnot. It was always kind of cool to go, ooh, this is me. I did this. That's just kind of fun, I guess. I think everybody likes to see their name up in lights, if you will. So keep that in mind as well. And I'd like to, like I said, welcome everybody to the website. If you, if you haven't been through the whole website yet, because you were rushing through it just to get to the Radio Visions page, that's fine, but please take the time to go over the whole website at one point or another. You'll find out a lot of interesting little tidbits and facts about me and maybe have a little more insight on why I do things the way I do them. So keep that in mind as well. We've got another reading here. It looks like I'm not for sure how to pronounce that. It's like Um, not gonna. I'm not even gonna mutilate the name. I'm gonna give you that much honors and not and not mutilate your name. But you're looking for the fact that you're unemployed and you need a job. <laughs> I'm not laughing at you. I'm just kind of laughing due to the fact that the job market is really bad right now. But I do see in the future if you go out and put out 
six applications, just six, you will have a phone call by the end of next week on two of them. And either one of them is going to be really, really good. The one that you want to take is with the retail store. Take that one first because it actually pays a little more than the rest of them. And you'll actually end up enjoying doing what they are offering. And I'm getting they're offering the position of cashier slash stalker. And when I say stalker, I don't mean someone that follows somebody around. I mean people that puts products on shelves. So keep keep that in mind as well, okay? And it's going to be a really quick thing. Like I said, if you put out six applications, by the end of the week, you'll have these two phone calls to go off of. So keep that in mind, and it's going to work out really well for you. And I hope that helps you out in some way, shape, or form. And thanks for IMing me. Now, a lot of people that, if you have a really hard name to pronounce, <laughs> go ahead and send me your name. It still makes it personal, personable, but I will pronounce it if I can. If I can't pronounce it, I will not mutilate it for you. Because a lot of people have mutilated my last name over the years. So, I know how it goes. So I'm not going to mutilate your name for you. So just keep that in mind as well. And if you're just joining us, you're listening to Radio Visions here on visionsbydera.com. If you go to visionsbydera.com, you can find the Radio Visions page. Click on it and it will open up the links to get on live or listen 24-7. If you're listening live, you can hear my voice right now. And why don't you IM me and send me an instant message and let me know what's going on in your world. I'll be happy to give you my insight and see what's going on there. Or if you just want to sit back and listen, that's great too. Click on the other link and I believe we still have last night's show posted on the other link. Which is okay and it's great and wonderful. And who knows, maybe later in this coming week, this show might even be posted. So that would be fun, wouldn't it? And I would, like I said earlier, I'd like to thank everybody that's been tuning in to Radio Visions and supporting us so far with what you can just by being a listener. And in the upcoming months, you'll start seeing some changes in the website because we're going to start advertising on the website in order to make a revenue stream to keep Radio Visions here and running. So keep that in mind too and use those links to get to the other companies and give them some business now and then, will you? We would appreciate it here. You're listening to Radio Visions by Dara. So if, <clears throat> so if you're new to the website and you haven't been through the whole website yet, please do so. Go to all the pages, check them out, let us know what you think. Send me a email, let me know that you read all the web pages and you liked it, you didn't like it. Or if you want to send me a email with your thoughts of inspiration, please do that as well. We'll get that extra web page set up and post all these thoughts of inspiration on the websites. I think that would be fun and amusing and so on and so forth. So keep that in mind as well, okay? So here we are on a Saturday night, November 15th. Just doing mini readings for people as they come along and ask for questions. And don't feel feel ashamed or feel embarrassed about asking questions. That's why I'm here. That's why you're here. That's why we're having a good time. I'd also like to remind people that the holidays are coming up rapidly. We've got just about a month for Christmas. Can you believe it? Just about a month. And if you don't celebrate Christmas, that's fine too. We still want to hear from you. We don't discriminate against anything because that would be just wrong for one but that is just not who I am I like everybody love everybody that's the way the whole world should be I think is everybody should just get along and if you take care of yourself and share what you know with others they'll take care of themselves and share what they know with you or somebody else and New and exciting things will happen in the world. That's what it's all about. 
new and exciting things. So keep that in mind as well. I would like to thank everybody that's been participating so far tonight. And if you're a new listener, and we thank you for that as well. Or if you're an old listener, we really thank you for that, for coming back and spending your time with me here on your Fridays and Saturday nights. I do appreciate it very much. So sit back and pour yourself a nice glass of wine or a hot cup of coffee and enjoy the evening for what it is. And like I said, last night we did stories on thoughts of inspiration and things that make you think. If you have your own thoughts of inspiration, please email them to me. Go to the contact us slash newsletter page and email them to me. If I get enough of these emails with thoughts of inspiration on them, we're going to start a new web page called Thoughts of Inspiration and start posting these to the site. I think it would be really cool and beneficial for a lot of people to see how other people look at things from as silly as how they observe their two-year-old child relate to the world or if it's more of I see things as this, this, and this, but I really don't follow them because it's too complicated. You know, stuff like that. Keep it real. Keep it simple. And we'll get them posted as soon as we get enough of them stockpiled, if you will. So keep that in mind. We've got another individual needing a reading, and this is Amy. Amy is actually from California, she says. Thank you, Amy, for emailing me. I mean, not emailing, but I am in me with that information. And I do appreciate it. And Amy is needing to know if her, this is kind of a double whammy, if her boyfriend and her job are going to get better. Right now, the job is slacking off in areas because your company is in a specialized environment and it's actually has to do with aircraft and I don't know what part of that has to do with aircraft because I don't see you guys building nose cones or wings or anything like that but at some step in your company you actually do something with aircraft and right now with the aircraft industry being so skimpy with layoffs and stuff like that keep in mind that work is going to be kind of a struggle or a hassle for right now but it is going to get better and you'll notice it getting better come about February so keep that in mind as well and as far as your love life the guy that you're dating and seeing now I am getting that he is basically nothing but a distraction to you right now he was a something to fill the time with type of person. You started dating him, you liked him, and one thing led to another, and this has been going on for the last year, year and a half. The next step from this is actually you guys will be going your own separate ways, and you're going to find somebody that's a little more down to earth and interested in the things that you are. And that's always a good thing in a partner or a spouse or a boyfriend or a girlfriend is is that they're they're into what you're into. Sometimes if you meet somebody and they're not into the stuff you're into, that makes them interesting. That makes them fun. That makes them unique. But that don't always work out. Just giving you that fair work little warning there that they always don't work out when that happens okay so keep that in mind as well and thanks for I am and me so here we are we're here on November 15th 2008 on a Saturday night and it is almost 1130 here central time so if you need a reading done please I am me or if you would like a Oh, I don't know what you would call it, a, just a shout out or a, to say hello. Do that as well. I do appreciate it. If you would like to submit your original music, if you're a musician or an artist, please go to the website. 
and download the permission form. You'll find it at the bottom of the page. Print that off and send it back to me with a copy of your CD that you want used for your on-air time. And as soon as we get enough people, we'll start broadcasting the on-air music. As of right now, we've only had a few people submit stuff. We need a few more before we can start really giving a good selection of what we have and what's going on. So we're going to wait a little while on that. It may be only a week. It may be two to three weeks before we get enough music to do that with. But that's what we're waiting on right now. Like I said, I do appreciate anybody and everybody that's listening out there right now. I do appreciate that very much. It lets me know that everything's working the way it should. Our first night, we had some technical difficulties that made me kind of laugh and giggle a little bit. Stressed me out, too. But that's all fixed now, and everything is easy and wonderful to use. And that's always, always good to know when the electronics are working and it's easy to use. I like it that way. So keep in mind, if you want to share your thoughts of inspiration with this or things that make you think, please email those to us as well. And as soon as we get enough of them, we're going to start posting those on our website. So keep that in mind that something you do could be posted for thousands and thousands of people to see. Kind of interesting, huh? So keep that in mind that the music we get is only going to be used for Radio Visions. It will not be used for anything outside of Radio Visions. So keep that in mind well. If that's more of an encouragement to submit stuff, please do so. And as the night goes on, we'll just continue with the readings and so on and so forth. So I am me with the reading or just saying hi and asking me what I see just by you saying hi and so forth. We can always go that route as well. If you haven't been through the website, I mean really through it, this would be a good time for you guys to go through it as you're listening to me. It's got some really cool and interesting stuff on there. We've got a gift on there to give to somebody who is pretty much the person that has everything already so keep that in mind and order him that unique gift called a reading in the bottle it is very very unique and fun so right now I want to read you something out of a book called fortune tellers book of days it's kind of a mini reading for the day if you will this is going out to everybody that needs a little needs a little inspiration for November 15th, 2008. Here we go. You are preserving and patient and attentive to deal with and have considerable originality. You are, pre <laughs> you are predictable and not in the least subject to flattery. You are quite and self-contained enjoy the company of your own sex like the outs out of doors and are in favorite in your own circle well if I had to translate what I just tried to read it sounds really combooberated is that you're a very persevering person you're well liked you prefer the same sex company as yourself versus large to mixed groups of sex like male and female you prefer it to be all male or all female which just makes you a little more comfortable you are politically and practically the best go-to person most of your friends have and that's a very good compliment so keep that in mind as well So, like I said, just keep that in mind that life is great and life is wonderful. And it will always get better. Always. So, and your card for today is also the King of Clubs. And the King of Clubs is a really unique card if you listen to our show the other night when we were going over what playing cards was. And the King of Clubs 
is actually oh I don't know how to describe it um, that's not a good way to describe it. it is um, that should should never happen the king of clubs represents Aries is what it does and it also represents travel or things that happen between March and April and which is really cool because if you were thinking about doing a job transfer or asking for a raise and you are in Aries do it between March and April you'll see when you're in your own lunar lunar circle or star circle there during those months things tend to go your way more often so keep that in mind that's a good time to ask for that raise at work or ask that person you've been looking at to go out during that time frame it's a good way to get into the who's who's and the what's what's of life okay I'd also like to thank everybody that's tuned in and is listening we here at Radio Visions really appreciate it because without you we would just be here talking to ourselves and that wouldn't be any fun now would it no one likes to talk to themselves Although I do know a handful of people that seem to like to talk to themselves because they do it quite often. I've been guilty to do that of once or twice on my on my end of the world as well. But I guess everybody does sooner or later. And if you would like to submit uh, your version of inspirational thoughts or things that make you think, please do so by using the email. And to use the email, go to the contact us page slash newsletter page. Fill out the email form and email us your thoughts of inspiration. And while you're there, please sign up for the monthly newsletter. Next one's not scheduled to go out until the first week of December. Possibly the second week if we can't get it pulled together tight enough. But I'm thinking the first week of November. Of November. It's already gone. Wow. Now we're time traveling. Cool. No, but the first week of November, that'd be really cool for everybody to log in and listen to that as well. And if you're just joining us, you're listening to Radio Visions, hosted by Dara every Friday and Saturday nights between 10 p.m. and 12 a.m. I would also like to inform everybody and let everybody know that we're going to start doing some advertising on the websites. So keep that in mind when the advertising links popped up. Please use them. Please check out the other other people. See what they're out there doing and offering and stuff. Would appreciate that very much. I would also like to thank everybody for putting up with the rambling that I seem to do some nights and going on and on and on about stuff that may or may not be relevant to anybody but myself that's okay that makes things a little more interesting for you guys I guess a little more interesting for me as well so just keep that in mind also getting another another reading request just came in and this is from I don't know if this is the same Amy or a different Amy but this is Amy again wanting wanting to know if okay this is a little unique and a little different she's wanting to know if the person she's dating is the person she's going to marry and the answer to that is yes it is I know right now you don't think so because you've been fighting and haggling and throwing tempt or tra- temper tantrums it seems like not just you he is doing it as well and I think you know that but then again I also think that this relationship is going somewhere if you just give it a little time it could be a really cool thing so give it a little time and it's going to blossom into something spectacular if you let it and don't don't start dating seriously and put him in a bubble or if 
your other half is listening, don't put her in the bubble. Because it's a way to make the relationship stale real fast and then you'll want to break up. And that's not good for anybody. So keep that in mind as well. You are listening to Radio Visions, hosted by Dara, here every Friday and Saturday nights between 10 p.m. and 11 a.m. Last night we kicked off a thing called... <clears throat> yeah, what was it called? I forgot. It's called Inspirational Thoughts. And if you have some ins inspirational thoughts that you would like to share with us, please submit them via by internet connection. You'll go to the contact us slash newsletter page and send us your email using your inspiration and thoughts that make you think are also good to send and we'll start getting them posted on the website. As soon as we can we'll get them posted on a brand new page called Inspirational Thoughts. Or if you think we should call it something else, please let us know that too. I thought inspirational thoughts were good, but if you want to call it, let's say, things that make you think, that would be a good site too. But let me know which one you'd like to go with, and we'll get it up and running, like I said, in the next few weeks to a, a month to two, because I know everybody's really, really busy. And if you have time to unwind for one hour or two hours a night, I would hope you'd be spending it with us, but if you're not, you're probably sound asleep and missing this all together. Which is okay, because we broadcast our shows over again during the week, so if you miss something, maybe you can catch a rebroadcast and listen through the whole thing from start to end, and keep up to date and all that fun stuff. And if you've signed up for the newsletters and haven't got anything yet, that's because our newsletters go out usually within the first week of each month. So keep that in mind that the first week can actually bleed over into the second week because things don't always run as quickly as we like and replies and so on and so forth. But do keep that in mind as well. And... I would like to thank everybody that was with us last night, and I would like to thank all of you that are with us today. I do appreciate appreciate it greatly. It is one of those things that this is all a learning experience for everybody here at Radio Visions, and I'm learning a lot on my own. I've got some guidance here and there, and this is, like I said, something I wanted to do for a long time for at least a year and just never have so now here we are doing this the way we should have been doing it a long time ago and that's always kind of fun so check out the website if you haven't already and look at all the pages and remember that the holidays are here pretty much and I've only got a handful of days open left so if you would like to book a party please contact me as soon as possible I would suggest by telephone then but please make it during the day, not at midnight or later. If you want to contact me tonight, please do so by email. Because like I said, we we sleep around here too, just like the rest of the world. And I know everybody appreciates that. And the night's slowly starting to wind down. It's about 11.40 here in Kansas, Central Time. And I know that everybody's anxious to get to bed or to go out or just to sit down with a glass of wine and have a great old time. Like I said, I appreciate everybody that's out there listening and doing what you can for us and we're doing what we can for you. If you would like a mini reading and just send me an instant message, I would be happy to give you a mini, mini reading like you've heard earlier in the show tonight. Some of them are a little longer than others. Some of them, the information is so clear and is right there. Go bang, bang, bang. It's just easy to give them a reading. And, and some of them that are a little bit tougher, or, you know, because maybe it's an older relationship. Maybe it's a brand new relationship. You know, it's just a little harder to do at times that way. So keep that in mind as well. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. 
and like I said, if you would like to submit your own work, especially music, we are looking for music to broadcast live. Well, not live, but broadcast over the radio waves here at Radio Visions. In order to do that, you need to go to our website, download a permission form, and mail it back to us with a CD of your music. And then we will magically get it put into the computer system and we'll start streaming it out as soon as we can. And those of you that have already sent us stuff or are in the process of sending us stuff, I would like to say thank you. I appreciate it very much and we will get it posted and broadcasting as soon as we can. Because I know there are some many, 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 many talented people out there listening to my voice right now. Please send me your stuff. I would like to use it. And you will get credit for it. You will get acknowledged for your work. That is a must here on this website. If you submit anything, I will let you know who submitted it. So if you do artwork and we wanted to produce artwork on our website, and you told me your name was Sarah Johnson and this is a piece called The Blooming Field, well, I would let everybody know that you did a piece called The Blooming Field and you, they get to come see it on my website. That's how we work here. So keep that in mind. Everybody will get credit for doing what they do. So, and you know, the night is almost over for us here. And I'm going to do another reading here because we've got several requests still sitting here on my desktop. And we're going to pick one. And this is Brian. And Brian wants to know, well, actually, Brian wants to know if his fiance is being honest with him. And Brian, at this point in time, I have to say, this is going to depend on your definition of honesty. But right now that a couple of nights ago when she said she had a ride home, she actually had a ride home, but they did stop at a couple of places before she came home. And this is nothing bad or out of the ordinary, but keep in mind that you have to give her a little little more room, a little more leg space to walk around and do things. Because if not, you're going to end up suffocating the relationship. And you don't want to do that because it is a good relationship and it's going to last quite a while. But don't get too defensive if she comes home just a little late, like 10-15 minutes. Now, if she doesn't come home at all, I don't know what to tell you on that one at this point. But as far as you're reading, yes, everything's going to be fine if you just give her what she needs. Okay, thanks. Now moving right along to the next scenario that you are listening to Radio Visions with Dara every Friday and Saturday nights between 10 a.m. and 12 p.m. No, that ain't right. That would be a long time now, wouldn't it? You're actually listening to Radio Visions from 10 p.m. to 12 a.m. That's a lot better. If you're an artist or a musician and produce your own work, we would like to get a copy of it so we could broadcast it over Radio Visions. And in order, in order for us to do that, you need to get on the Radio Visions webpage, click on the permission form for music, print it off, fill it out, and return it to me via U.S. Mail with a copy of your CD that you've worked on and produced and we will get those aired and broadcasting hopefully within the next couple weeks and if you've already submitted stuff or are in the middle of submitting stuff I'd like to say thank you because without you submitting it with a broadcasting form I can't use it so that is very crucial that we have a broadcasting form with that and I just like to thank you all ahead of time so if you're just out there listening and you know that you've already submitted something, regardless it's the music or the stuff on the page, I appreciate that. I really do. On the inspiration page. So keep that in mind as well. And like I said, I would like to give thanks to everybody that is tuned in to listen and participate tonight. And... All that great stuff. And if you are interested in just personal readings, but on a face to face basis, and you 
are here in Kansas, give me a phone call and we'll set up a private appointment for you to come in and we'll do a face-to-face uh, -face personal reading. Those are always fun and exciting to do. And if you would just like the free readings that we do on Fridays and Saturday nights, just send me that instant message that you see there on that web page. Just type in your message and hit return and it magically comes to my website and, and I'm on the other end of it and I can talk to you and let you know how things go. That is always fun and creative. And like I said, right now we just really need music so we can start broadcasting it. So please submit your original works and music so we can broadcast it and have a great time with it. And I do appreciate everybody that has submitted stuff at this point. I know it's hard to find time sometimes to do the small things to make the big things happen for you. But trust me, those small things sometimes are the big things. And if you haven't figured that one out, that should be a thought or something to think about or things to make you think. Sometimes the little things are the big things. And I actually believe that as well. So keep that in mind. Especially if you're in a relationship with somebody and it seems to be going nowhere and one person's always bickering over what seems to be nonsensical little things. Focus back in what I just said. If you think it's little things, well, in your other half's world, those little things are actually the big things. So don't let don't let it slide and become no fun for anybody. Nobody likes that. Nobody wants that. So keep that in mind, okay? And if you're just tuning in, you're listening to Radio Visions with Dara here every Friday and Saturday nights between 10 p.m. and 12 a.m. where I do live readings via Instant Messenger that you can find on that page. And if you've never used that style of instant messenger, it's really easy. You just type in your message, hit return, and it magically comes to my site. And I can read it and do messages for you. But I do want to appreciate everybody that's been here so far and has been on the site. It's very important that we keep people coming through the site. And because it's very important that we stay here. I would like this radio station to outlast everything else on the internet how's that is that a very bold and big prediction that I would like radio visions to be online for the next 20 to 30 years how's that I think it's possible and with a little help from everybody out there we're gonna stay here and we're gonna do this and this is just gonna be really fun in general And if you're just tuning in, you're listening to Radio Visions, hosted by Dara every Friday and Saturday nights. So keep that in mind. And, oh, we've got another, another IM that we can pick from here. And This is from Matt. And Matt is wanting to know, <laughs> Matt is wanting to know if he should ask his friend out. Matt, I got a feeling this friend is somebody you've known for quite a while, correct? Yes, okay, yes. You've known each other for the last three years. Okay. And you want to take it to the next level because you guys hang out a lot and you do almost everything together anyway, but you you would rather be boyfriend-girlfriend than just friends, correct? Yes, okay. And actually, this is a really great time to bre to approach that. Because if you approach it, approach it in just the right light, something's going to click on both sides and she's going to she's going to accept the proposal of being maybe boyfriend, girlfriend. So it's just finding the right time and the right way to approach that and introduce her to that idea or concept if you already have it. Tell her that you just feel a little more than friends and actually... Like I said, right now is a really good time to be doing that, and it's going to click and be okay for you. So keep that in mind as well. And let me know how that works out, okay, Matt? 
have a great evening. So like I said, if you like it, mini reading done, please IM me right now and we can get you that mini reading. Or if you're just enjoying listening, please kick back, pour yourself another glass of wine or another cup of coffee and enjoying the broadcasting of Dara on Radio Visions. So keep that in mind as well, okay? And if you're planning a holiday party and you haven't really thought it through yet and think, oh, I'll do it later, I'll do it later, you're running out of time. If you need entertainment for this party, I've got a few days left open, so give me a call. We can talk about filling in your time schedule. You can email me on that as well, but like I said, since I've only got a limited amount of time and space, calling would probably be quicker and easier. And if no one's here during the week to actually answer the phone because I'm out doing shows or out hustling new avenues to keep on Radio Visions, please leave a message because if you don't, put it this way, if you don't leave a message, I don't know you called because we don't have caller ID here. So keep that in mind as well. And like I said, I would like to thank everybody for stopping in tonight and listening to the ramblings and the babbling of a individual. I hope you come back and support the site as much as possible. And when I mean support, I don't mean financially. I mean support as listening to us, giving, us, giving me feedback on what you liked, what you didn't like, submitting pages to our Thoughts of Inspiration page that we're trying to get started up. So if you have Thoughts of Inspiration and would like to share them, email them to me. Go to the Contact Us slash newsletter page and email them to me. And then we'll start getting those posted on that web on that web page as soon as we get enough of them. I would like to have at least a dozen or two to start with. So come on, send them in, send them in, send them in. Or if you would like a mini reading through the I am, we can do that too. Just fill out that little I am thing there on the page and hit enter, and it will magically come to me. And we'll commence your reading based on that. Or if you just want to say hi, you can do that too. Just I am in, say hi, how's it going? I also appreciate those as well. Because life is too short to be, to not be friendly, you know. Everybody needs to be friendly. Just think what would happen if everybody saw life as a three-year-old sees it. Because to a three-year-old, life is still amazing, still wonderful. There is no, there is no hatred, there is no anything it's just all wonderful because their their world hasn't expanded enough to encompass the rest of our world and that's going to be a sad day when it really does but for now they're just out there having a great time in their little world so keep that in mind as well and like I said I'd like to thank everybody that has joined us here tonight and like I said, music is coming very soon as long as we get enough of it submitted in. And to submit music, go to the website, find the Radio Visions page, download or print off the form, fill it out, mail it back with a CD to us, and we will get that integrated into the computer system in the next week or two and start streaming out music. Wouldn't that be cool? And. I just want to let you all know that you're listening to Radio Visions by Dara. And bear with me that my voice comes and goes throughout the evening as we talk because I'm just really not used to talking as much like this as one would think. I guess it would be a good way to put it. So this is going to conclude another wonderful evening here at Radio Visions with Dara. This is Friday night, November 15th, 2008. And even after I sign off and go back to just broadcasting last night's show, please remember if you have ideas or if you just want to send me an email, please do so. Sign up for our newsletter while you're there on the website and you'll start getting information before anybody else. And... That would always be fun and cool. 
and I would always always like to remind you that when changes happen here we will let you know via a newsletter we'll also let you know as they happen on the website but you'll know about them beforehand if you go with the new monthly newsletter just to let you know if you want to stay ahead of the curve so to speak and I'd like to thank everybody for joining me tonight and I am signing off for the evening so y'all have a wonderful weekend and take take the world one step at a one step at a time and enjoy as much as possible thank you and good night